Hi, I am Dr. K. N. Jacob, and today I will teach you on the subject the blue people. There are four primary personality colors the red people, the blue people, the yellow people, and the green people. And until you understand yourself, you will never be able to get along with others. You will never get along with others unless and until you learn how to get along with yourself. You need to experience yourself first for you to be able to experience others. And the first session, I talked about the red people. And this particular session, I want us to talk about the blue people. Blue people are artistic in nature. They are the best people in composing poems, songs, artistry work, drawing and design, architecture. They have very high imaginative power. They have the best points in a brainstorming session. They, are, they, they, they think deeply and critically before they speak. They don't just raise their voices. Often than not, they are the last voice in a boardroom or in a conversation. They first listen to others so naturally. They are good listeners. They will listen to everybody in the room before they make their contribution. They are scheduled. They are organized. They plan. But that comes with quite some baggage. One, they hardly forgive. They can keep grudges for a lifetime. They have severe mood swings. They easily take offense and they don't know how to release the baggage, their burden from their heart and today i want us to look at them a little bit deeply and i want us to first think about their natural disposition i'll mention a couple of things and how they respond to a couple of items what is their natural disposition in terms of their motto the motto of a blue person please understand just understand people don't push them hard don't be harsh with anyone. Don't raise your voice. Just understand the situation. Understand the person. Okay? Please understand. In terms of their work, they are detailed. If you're listening to their story, they will give you in details. They don't know how to explain from the peripheral. They don't know how to explain marginally or tangentially. They know how to explain in details. They are good in numbers. They explain with figures. They are good with PowerPoints. They believe in color. So they want to give details. In terms of their relationships, they are controversial. I regret to say, blue people often than not take longest to settle in marriage simply because they are perfectionists and they are trying to look for the ideal person. And that person only exists in their head. They fear being hurt and being injured. They try to play life safe their entire lifetime. So in terms of relationships, the other three colors, they find the blue people controversial. In terms of communication, blue people are listeners. They can be good counselors. They can work very well in a place where they are required to listen, like a doctor listening to what the patient is saying. They are very good in troubleshooting because they listen. In terms of their time, they are daytime workers. They believe the night was created for rest. So this is the personality that sleeps the way we are supposed to sleep as human beings ideally. They sleep early and wake up early. Most blue people will sleep around 9, 9.30 and they'll be up every morning at 5.30. They don't overdo it. They believe in working during the day and they don't take a power nap during the day. Unlike the other personalities, this guy will hit the whole day working because he will sleep early and wake up early. Now, in terms of conflicts, blue people keep grudges for a lifetime. They will remind you things you did two years ago. Things you think are petty are very important to them. Blue people are very sensitive. Nothing passes them. They, they read between the lines. In terms of money, they are the most mean of the four personality colors. They can hardly buy you anything. And if they buy you a gift, 
they will never forget as, though, as long as they live. It is too costly for them. They believe everybody should live within their means. In terms of their sex life, they are scheduled. They don't just want to enjoy intimate moments just anytime, anywhere. They want to know, are you saying we can be having some intimate moments on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? And if it's Friday, how long? Are you talking of from 10 to 10.30? Don't make it sporadic. Schedule our love making. Let me even know the style. Let me be psychologically prepared. Send me a text in the morning that today there is a slight change. We normally make love at 10 in the evening, but today I would want us to start at 11 o'clock because we are watching a movie. These people schedule even love making. In terms of holidays, they are planners. In January, they have already concluded the whole year. They know where they will spend for their Christmas holiday. Sometimes they will plan a holiday three years in advance. They can save for three years to visit Hawaii. These people, are they plan in advance. In terms of driving, they are ordinary. They are never arrested by cops. They believe laws are to be followed. They naturally follow order and patterns. They are hardly caught out of order. In terms of parenting, they are principled parents. So kids can predict their patterns. In fact, often than not, they are the best parents in terms of organizing kids. Please understand, not in terms of inspiring, but in terms of organizing children. Because children know whether they are supposed to do home chores and what time. If they're supposed to sleep at 9, it's always 9. It can be predicted. It can be scheduled. They don't keep on shifting goalposts. In terms of their marriage, the blue people of all four colors are the most faithful people. They are faithful to their marriage for different reasons. They do the maths. They calculate the cost. And they do not want to be caught on the wrong side. They do the math a lot. What will it cost me if I sleep outside of my marriage? What price will I pay? Now, of all four colors, the blue girl, the blue boy, has a higher chance of getting married as a virgin than any other color. And now, I want us to, I want us to pick one person in the Bible who was blue. The blue Joseph. Joseph the dreamer was blue to the core. He was loved by his father, hated by his brothers. Genesis 37, 3 to verse 4. The dad made him a nice coat because he was orderly, organized, obedient, a coat of many colors, and blue people are artistic. They were dull, but they are good in drawing colors. They, if, if they're in design, they will make colors for others, not for themselves. Then they are very conservative in how they dress in their colors. But then this, this, these are the kind of kids when they're growing up, they report everyone to mom and dad. <laughs> That's how the blue people are. Joseph was like that. The brothers didn't like him. And unfortunately, sometimes blue people are not conscious of their actions. Joseph shared his dream with his brothers, telling them how one day he will rule over them. Rule over them, their dad, their mom. And this made them to hate him all the more. And they sold him to slavery into Egypt. And when he went to Egypt, he was bought by Potiphar. But in that house, because Joseph was the most handsome boy in, in, in his time, Potiphar's wife desired this boy, wanted to sleep with this handsome teenager. But Joseph could not agree. because Not just because of his righteousness, but blue people do a lot of calculations. What if my master, your husband, catches up with me? What will become of me? So a lot of, unlike yellow guys, yellow guys, hey, 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 let's have some fun. Hey, let's have some fun moment. Hey, details later. Hey, don't think about pregnancy now or STIs. Let's have some fun. No, 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 no. Blue people first do the maths before they think of the fun. Unfortunately, he was accused falsely of raping this woman and he was imprisoned. But while in prison, some two guys, he dreamt about what they are going to become. And one of them got out of prison went to Pharaoh's house and then remembered one of the inmates was a dreamer. He had the power to interpret dream. Long story short, Pharaoh looked for this guy, promoted him, 
told him to be in charge of the whole house of Egypt so that he can take care of the economy of that lad so that he can preserve food for seven years. And one day, his father, his brothers went looking for Joseph because there was famine in Israel. Unfortunately, blue people do not forget. They have a photographic memory, especially for grudges. So when Joseph's brother came to Egypt looking for food, guess what? He spoke harshly to his brothers. A lot of people never read that. Genesis 42, 7. And then he put all of them in prison for three days. Can you believe that? Can you believe that's in your Bible? Genesis 42, verse 17. And beyond that, he ensured they all bowed down to him. Genesis 43, 26 to 28, because blue people seek revenge. Let me tell you a couple of things about blue people. One, they can be very controversial. There can be a meeting going on and everybody is having a fun. You're all in a party mood. And then they, they throw a statement that throws everybody off guard. For example, when you're in that party mood and then they say, hey, guys, it's getting late. We need to sleep. Tomorrow we are working. They can throw people off guard at any moment. Joseph shares controversial dreams with his brothers. He sees them worshiping him. Now, blue people are good listeners. They can listen attentively before they speak. This is a weakness yellow people have. Yellow people speak before they listen. Blue people will listen attentively. Now, Joseph the dreamer, listened to his brothers attentively. When he came back to Egypt, he even pretended this is not, these are not his brothers and he was just listening. Blue people are good in working during the day. They are daytime guys. Joseph was dreaming at night. He was so blue. Blue people are dependable. They are the most faithful people. If you're looking for a business partner, Look for blue people. They will not steal a single cent. They will report everything to the last penny. They will not steal your time as an employer. They will report on time and live on time. They say, look, am I supposed to report at 8 and leave at 5? They will report at 8 and leave at 5. Joseph the dreamer, he committed to his assignment 100% to ensure there was no famine in Egypt. Now, blue people can keep grudges. They find it hard to forgive. They have a very heavy heart. And they can take offense very easily. Joseph the dreamer did not forget what the brothers did to him. If you're married to a blue person, I guarantee you everything you do will be stored in long-term memory for further training, future training, and quality control. Be careful every statement you make in the presence of a blue person. Now, blue people are planners. We see Joseph planning food program for 14 years. Blue people are principled. We see Joseph does not compromise on his integrity. He honors his boss's wife. He honors his boss and he honors his God and he honors himself. And finally, we see blue people are faithful people. Joseph will not sleep with his master's wife. Joseph was actually blue. I want to share with you some seven strengths and some seven weaknesses of blue people. One strength of blue people, they are thoughtful. They think before they speak. They read between the lines. They think critically through the whole episode. Ed to Ed, beginning to the end. But the weakness that comes along with it, they are moody. They have sporadic mood swings. You can be talking to them right now and they are jovial. And the next moment, their mood has totally changed. Sort of a bipolar condition. Mild, for that matter. Blue people, another strength, they are scheduled. You know for sure what time that woman comes home. You know for sure what time that man comes home if he's blue. They follow a pattern. You know what time they sleep. You know how, where, how, where they stop by. If they stop by a certain supermarket, if they buy vegetables every Saturday, it does not change. 
the time they do their hair, that does not change. They have a very clear schedule. A weakness alongside, they are rigid to change. Every time you hear a company is looking for a trainer or a speaker on change management, they hire this facilitator because of the number of blue people in the organization. Once you show them the way, don't change the direction. Number three, they are organized. These are the most organized people. Even in the office, they organize their books, they organize their files. At home, they organize the kitchen, the sitting room. They never leave the bedroom before they make the bed. They organize their clothes and they don't like anyone disorganizing their clothes, disorganizing their office. In the office, by the way, if you work in an open office, never keep your files or your paperwork on a blue person's desk. They don't take it kindly. Keep it on your desk. Now, the weakness along that is that they are insecure people. Sometimes they're suspicious. People are working their downfall. They're suspicious of the boss's intention. Even inviting them for a cup of coffee, they can be suspicious what else you're looking for. They read too much between the lines. Hey, blue guys, learn to relax. Don't judge people before you experience them. Don't. Don't. Now, blue people, number four, they are detailed. They believe in numbers and figures. When they're speaking, they even prefer carrying a notebook. They never attend a meeting or a board meeting without a notebook. They like going to details, writing everything. They journal their feelings. They journal their, their emotions and even their experiences. A weakness with that, they are perfectionists. They are looking for perfect conditions, perfect situations to make a move. So they will hardly move from the house where they live. They will hardly change jobs. They will hardly change staff. They will stick to one thing for a lifetime. That's okay if it is sticking to your life partner. That's okay if it is sticking to important relationships. But you need to learn when you outgrow an organization. You need to learn when you outgrow a certain neighborhood and when you need to shift to the next neighborhood. Because sometimes you will never go to the next level until you physically relocate. Until you shift where you are, you may never experience your new shift. Number five, they are creative. Blue people are very creative. They are artistic. They even come up with solutions. And they begin their statements by, don't you think? You, what do you think? Let me caution you. Every time you start an English statement with the word, don't you think? You are already rude. I suggest, especially in a marriage context, never start a sentence with the word you. You is accusing. Start with I. I think we can do it this way. I feel. I also believe. I suggest. That lowers the tone. Now, a weakness with this, they are pessimistic. They always think things will go haywire. What if... We lose the money that we invest in the stock market. What if we get an accident? What if that insurance doesn't work? Blue people are always calculating the pessimistic side of things. Now, blue people are self-reliant. They don't believe in borrowing. They believe in living within their means. No matter how much they earn, they adjust their lifestyle to fill their budget. So they will not adjust their lifestyle upwards when they have a small pay rise. See, there are some people when you increase a bit of their salary, they change their car, they change their compound where they stay, they change their neighborhood, they change their clothes, they change their watch, they change their phone, they change their hairstyle and where they go for hair salon. Blue people are very careful not to live outside their budget. They always have a buffer budget. They always have a savings account and they always keep money for a rainy day. Remember, blue people always think something can go wrong. So they always, have, they always keep money aside. They don't spend everything. But it's a weakness. They are very mean people. They take so long to buy anything for themselves and for others. Of all four colors, blue people are the most mean people. They feel pain when spending. Number seven, they are principled. The good thing with blue people, they will not do things haphazardly. They will not put themselves into trouble, moral trouble. They will 
they will try as much as possible to be honest, to be above bold. They hate cheating. They believe in being honest. Honesty is their principle. It is their guiding principle. But they keep grudges and they hardly forgive. So they can be wounded for years. They can have a heavy heart for so long. Now, blue people, I want to give you a scripture for every weakness I mentioned, for the seven weaknesses. One, I said you have a weakness of being moody, moody mood swings. Now, the Bible says in Psalms 42, verse 11, Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I'll praise him again, my Savior and my God. Learn to put your hope in God. You cannot control tomorrow. You can only take charge of today. The best way of controlling tomorrow is by taking charge of today. The best way of controlling tomorrow is before it arrives. Stop preoccupying yourself with tomorrow and leave today. Don't skip today. As Kita Davis sang, one day at a time. Second weakness. Blue people can be very rigid, rigid to change. Colossians 3.13 Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Jesus tied your own forgiveness to the ability to forgive others. Accommodate some faults. No one is perfect. We all have custom-made thoughts that make us unique. We all have defects. Don't expect anyone to be faultless. Number three, blue people are naturally more insecure than other colors. Isaiah 26 verse 3, You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Learn to be secure in Christ. God is my security. Christ is my security. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow with confidence. I live every day knowing the dots will connect. They don't connect forward. They connect backwards. So I step one step at a time into the future. I even step into the unknown even though I don't know the future, I know who holds the future. And my confidence is in the one who holds the next step. So step into the unknown. Don't play life too safe. None of us has ever gotten out of this life alive. Number four, blue people are perfectionists. Second Corinthians 12, 9. My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. God works with weak vessels. He has put his unction, his anointing, in treasures of clay. If God can work with the most unlikely characters, like Peter, John, James, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, Philip, James, he can work with you and me. God doesn't work with the perfect. God perfects the called. He works with ordinary people like you and me. Give your husband a chance. Give your wife a chance. Give that boyfriend who is dating you a chance. Give that girl a chance. Don't judge her. You will remain single if you can't give people a chance. Don't compromise your values, but give people an opportunity. An ideal man, an ideal woman only lives in your head. Number five. Blue people are the most pessimistic of all colors. They have pessimism. They are always thinking things may go wrong. What if I get an accident? What if he hurts me? What if my marriage fails? What if the business backfires? That's why blue people are the last people to start a business. I want you to know this. You will never rise above your expectations. What you expect is what you get. The devil drives on your fears. The devil controls you through your fears. 
God blesses you through your faith. God answers prayers through your faith. God is inspired by your faith. So don't expect perfection. Scripture says in Matthew 6 verse 27 and Luke 12 verse 25. Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Jesus said you have no control over tomorrow or over the future. Relax. Be still and know God is in control. Be still. God makes all things beautiful in his time. Are you asking me, what if I don't get a baby? What if I don't get married? What if I don't get a job? Hey, my goodness. God makes all things beautiful in its time. Relax. Be still and see the salvation of the Lord your God. He will walk with you through the fire. Even when you walk through the fire, that fire will never burn you. When you go through the rivers, the flood will never overtake you. Be still and know he is God. Number six, blue people are more mean than any other color. They are the most mean of all four colors. Proverbs eleven twenty four: One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds and jury, but comes to poverty. I tell you this, when you don't learn to the risk, you never get. God never intended you to be a reservoir. God designed you to be a river of fresh water, a spring of fresh water. You receive, you give, you receive, you give. It is easy to talk about the men of God. Noah, Abraham, Moses, David, Job. Let me tell you one common factor with all these guys. They were givers because giving reveals the condition of your heart. Every time you give, you are telling God, you can take charge of my life. You can take charge of my destiny. God does not own 10%. God owns 100% of what you have. Every time you give to God, you're saying you are confident that your life is in his sons. You're confident of his provisions tomorrow. Learn to release. Learn to release. We receive by releasing. Jesus said when you give it, it comes back to you. Good measure, pressed down, running over, shaken together. A lot of people are in bondage. Financial bondage. They struggle financially because they have never learned this principle of God. Release. God loves a cheerful giver. Everyone who holds back never receives. Freely you have received, free to give. You are born with nothing. God gave you everything. Learn to release. First, give to yourself. What do you have against yourself? Learn to enjoy life. Yes, even as we invest for tomorrow, don't postpone today. Number seven and the last one. Blue people can keep grudges. They find it hard to forgive. They easily take offense and they store the offense in their long-term memory. Their heart is full of baggage. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13, 5, Love keeps no record of wrongs. And remember, love is God and God is love. God doesn't keep a record of wrongs. When we repent, he forgives us all our sins. And he's asking you to have the same love. Keep no record of wrongs. You can build your marriage with a record of wrongs. You can build any relationship by reminding people about how they offended you. You can't grow along the corporate ranks by being offended by your colleagues and by your supervisor. Genesis 45, 15. Joseph kissed all his brothers and wept over them. Wept over them. Joseph finally forgave them, embraced them. And now I urge you, look for the person who offended you. If they are still alive, go and tell them, I forgive you. Not for their sake, but for your sake. Forgiveness does not change your past, but it opens your future. Forgiveness is the sweetest revenge. Forgiveness is not the same as reconciling. 
Forgiveness is letting God take care of justice. Forgiveness sets you free from focusing on the person you think offended you. Because so long as you have someone or something to blame, that it is because my father never paid my school fees, it is because of my ex who frustrated me, left me two hungry children and a rent to pay. It is because of my supervisor. I can't clear my college, my graduate studies, or because of my supervisors, I cannot be promoted. You will never move to the next level. When you forgive, you free your heart to move to the next level. Learn to forgive and to forget. If you can't do both, at least pick one. The next session, I will teach you about the yellow people. Thank you.